Does your vlog footage suck? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna help you in this video. In today's video, we're just gonna go through how I color grade my footage in S-Log3. Bear, come here. What are you looking at? Come here. Everyone say hi to my dog, Bear. Of course, everyone wants their vlog footage to look like a movie. And what a lot of people get wrong is that it all starts with how you shoot your footage. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. You could be the best colorist in the world, but if your footage is shot improperly or is exposed incorrectly, yada, 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 then your footage is gonna look like crap. So before you watch the video and then you're wondering, oh, why doesn't my footage look like that? Why doesn't it look like that? It's because you didn't expose properly. But once you learn how to expose properly, then your footage is gonna look amazing. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about color grading. So let me go show you how to do that. Peep game, peep game. So in my timeline, I have four clips. I have uh, this one, two people in a classroom. I have this one, a couple of my friends. I was vlogging one day. Um, I have this one right here. I was in New York, I was vlogging again. Um, and then this one right here, a clip of a street. So I'm basically gonna take you through a couple different methods of how I would color grade uh, these different shots, uh, starting with this one. Um, but before I go ahead, uh, let's just make sure we have a couple of windows open. We wanna make sure we have Lumetri scopes. I have mine here open on the left. Um, if you're in Premiere and you don't see it, I'll go ahead and close out of it. You can go up here to Window and then open Lumetri Scopes and it should open. Uh, yeah, just like that. And then of course, on my right side, I have my Lumetri Color tab. So since I'm shooting in S-Log3, the very first thing that I'm going to do is open up Basic Correction and apply a Rec. 709 conversion LUT. Um, if you don't know what that means, it basically takes the footage from looking like this, S-Log3, very flat, and it brings it into a Rec. 709 color space, which is how I like to color grade my footage. Um, if that sounded confusing or you didn't really know what that meant, uh, maybe go do some YouTube research homework and, uh, and look up what uh, Rec. 709 and S-Log3 are. Um, but that's going to be the first step that I do with most of my footage 90% of the time. Second step, I'm going to open curves and I'm going to adjust this exposure curve right here. Um, the footage is taking up most of the IRE values from 0 to 100. A brief explanation of what that means, basically, this graph right here, Lumetri Scopes, this waveform graph, is basically a graphical representation of the light data values that is happening in the monitor window right here. And a general rule of thumb to follow when you're color grading, you want to make sure that this waveform does not touch or go past 100, and you do not want it to touch or go below zero. And the reason that is, is because once these values go above 100, it's, uh, I think it, it's basically peaking and you don't, you don't want that to happen. Um, and same thing, um, if your waveform touches or goes below zero, that's like a, that's a true black color and that's not something that you want in your footage. So back to this curve, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these handles right there. I'm just gonna bring it, move it to the right just a little bit so you can see here on the graph what it did, it brought this down a little closer to zero. Um, and so I moved it just enough so that it barely touches or it's barely about to touch zero without actually touching it. I'm going to do the same thing for the highlights, except I'm not going to do too much. As you can see, you know, it's already peaking here. Uh, generally, that's not great. But, you know, this was vlog footage. Again, I had to turn your vlogs into, I had to turn your vlogs into movies. So I didn't really have that much control um, over the lighting and the environment. Uh, so in this case, it's okay if it touches or goes past 100 a little bit because I really just want to raise the exposure of the entire shot by adjusting this curve. So once I have that dialed in, uh, next thing I do, I open up color wheels and match. And in here, this is where pretty much most of the actual color grading happens. This is where you get to be creative with your colors and, uh, and adjust the temperature, tint, hues, whatever. Um, for your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. And so this is where a lot of the creativity happens. In 90% of my footage, the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some warmth to my highlights. It's just a look that I really like. And so sometimes, you know, you can go really overkill with it, make it really warm. In this case, I'm gonna do something a bit more subtle. I think, um, I, think I want it to be a little bit more yellowish. And then in the shadows, I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue, which is, you know, just opposite of what I added in the highlights. And that's a general rule of thumb that I like to follow as well. And then in the mid-tones, I'm gonna add just a small touch of green, not too much, because this can really affect the look of the footage. So if I go ahead and shut off color wheels and match with this little checkbox right here, that's before and that's after. And as you can see, it's already pretty much changed the entire look of the shot. It's a lot warmer. You can also adjust your exposure in this tab as well. So I do wanna bring up these mid-tones just a little bit. Um, and then after doing that, I want to add some contrast, add some more contrast. So I'm going to bring down the shadows just, just a bit, just like that. So again, if I go ahead and hit this checkbox, that's before. 
and that's after and already the shot looks so much better in my opinion again this is very subjective next thing i'm going to do i'm going to open up curves one more time and so uh the subject here on the left he's wearing a purple hoodie and i think i want the purple to pop a bit more and i also don't think i like the hue of purple so i'm just going to demonstrate some of the tools you can use in the lumetri tab so if i go to hue versus hue and i select the eyedropper tool and then i click on uh, purple on the hoodie it's going to automatically create these points for me and i'm just going to add a couple more just so i can make some more adjustments and i'm going to take this middle one and if you see if i move it it changes the color of his hoodie so if i wanted to i can make him you know he's now he's wearing a green hoodie and so if i scrub through you'll see like throughout the footage now his hoodie's green and so that's a very powerful tool that you can use to change some of the colors in your footage um in this case i don't want to change the colors i just i just want to make the purple a bit more magenta right maybe a bit less I think uh, I think that's good so before and after I think it pops a little bit more I wasn't I wasn't really feeling this purple color I think I like this a bit more again completely subjective and for all I know this looks worse to most of you this is just how I like to color grade my footage and why not let's just go ahead and go to hue versus saturation go ahead and select the eyedropper one more time and click the hoodie um, just to demonstrate you know what else you can do uh, in Lumetri I can go ahead and crank up that saturation so now the hoodie's a lot more vibrant a lot more saturated or I can turn it all the way down and you know it's like almost black and white the hoodie's almost black and white and that's pretty much the bulk of uh, of my color grading process right there um and so you'll see for the rest of these clips that i'm going to go through it's pretty much this, the, the exact same thing and i'm going to go through it a lot more quickly for the rest of the three clips that i've selected finally i'm going to open creative tab and so this is where you can add luts and i think luts are a super powerful tool and a lot of my footage i am adding luts and so a lot of people might say oh you don't need to add a lot that's basically cheating like no it's not like if you use LUTs correctly, it can it can transform your footage into something really boring, into something really, really catching to your eye. The LUTs I like to use a lot are from Danny Gewurz. I highly recommend you go check him out. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. And I like to use this one called Warm Nostalgia. So that is way too much. It really changed the look of the footage. But the great thing you can do is you can dial back the intensity um, maybe a little bit more. I think that's good. So if I go ahead and select this checkbox, that's before. And that's after and again it just added a bit more contrast and some more warmth to the footage as well so moving on to our second clip this time we have some actual vlog footage and i'm going to follow more or less the same steps this time i'm going to go to basic correction add the conversion lut um the footage looks pretty bad uh, as is right now i'm going to go ahead and open curves we're going to adjust the exposure a little bit bring down those shadows and we're also going to bring up these highlights just right before it hits 100 on the waveform graph we're going to open color wheels and match and so as you can see their faces are really dark so to fix that we're going to bring up the mid tones just bring up that slider a little bit um, but as you can see that also lifted the waveform graph uh, a little higher than zero than i'd like so we're just going to kind of bring down the shadows i'm liking the amount of contrast the shot has right now i'm going to bring up the highlights just a little bit and something I know I want to do for sure right away just by looking at the shot, I want the sky to be a lot more blue. So we're going to open curves and we're going to go to hue versus saturation, select the eyedropper tool, then select the sky. It's going to create these points and we're going to select the middle one. And we're just going to turn that up. And as you can see, the sky looks a lot, uh, a lot punchier. And I like that look, especially for my vlog footage. I think it really makes it pop. I'm going to go back to color wheels and match. Again, like I said, 90% of my footage, I am adding a little bit of warmth using the highlights uh color circle right here maybe just a little bit more um and i do want to bring the midtones up a bit more i think their faces are a little dark and i'll bring down the shadows just a little bit so that uh, we don't lose too much contrast and so for this clip i think this looks really good again it's just vlog footage you know it doesn't have to be perfect and so this is just how i like to make my vlog footage look a lot more interesting instead of you know if i shut off uh creative curves and color wheels and mash uh this is what the vlog footage would look like if i was just applying uh the rec 709 uh, conversion LUT but then again if I turn everything back on like look at how much better that looks I think it looks really great especially color wheels and match it has a really big impact on the look of the footage um, I think it does take away a little bit of the saturation of the shot I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up just a little bit yeah I think that's good anyway moving on to our third shot uh, this one is a bit of a different look this time we have a lot more green um, and I think this was a rainy day when I shot this clip and so uh, the footage um, unlike the vlog footage is a lot less harsh you know we have a lot more diffusion because of the clouds in the sky because it was drizzling a bit and so this time we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to start with our creative tab and we're going to add a film LUT that I've had for some time and we're going to select the right one see this one says Sony S-Log3 and immediately um, it completely changes the look of our footage and it doesn't look great as is I'm going to be honest it does not look great but what we can do 
is do the same adjustments that we did before. We're gonna open curves and we're gonna go ahead and drag this handle and bring the shadows down a lot closer to zero. And we're gonna do the same thing for the highlights. We're gonna take this handle and we're gonna drag it to the left and we're gonna keep our eye on the waveform graph and just wait for it to start approaching 100. Just like that. And so I think we can bring this down just a little bit more. And so I think this footage is really contrasty and I get that's part of the film look, but that's not really what I'm going for here. So I'm gonna to go to basic correction. I'm just gonna turn down the contrast just a little bit. And I think that's good. And I think it's really saturated. Again, I think that's also part of the film look, but again, not really what I'm going here. I'm going for here. I'm just gonna turn that down. And so the reason I started with uh, the creative tab and adding a LUT is because I just want to show that there's so many different ways to color grade your footage. Um, there's no one right way. Well, maybe there is if you're a professional colorist, uh, but just for vlog footage, which is what I'm shooting a majority of the time, this is plenty. And I think it really changes the look of, uh, of some boring footage and turns it into something really cool looking. Let's go ahead and turn up these midtones. I think the footage is really dark right now. Turn up the midtones. Don't turn down the shadows just a little bit as well. Again, if I hit the checkbox, that's before and that's after. Added a lot of brightness and made it slightly warmer in the highlights as well. And so again, this look is completely different than the look I was going for in the other shots. If we go ahead and take a look at the second one, you can see this one, it's a lot more playful. Like, I don't even know, like, like, I don't even know if that makes sense. That's just like the first word that came to mind. And if we go to the first shot, this shot, it's just, it's a different look. I don't, like, I'm not really sure how to explain. It's a different look. Moving on to our last shot, I have this one. It's the, uh, it's a busy street in New York City because I was there a couple weeks ago. And what we're gonna do here is a little bit different. We're just gonna go ahead and add this one plugin that I think is amazing. It's called Dehancer. And so I'm not gonna go too in depth as to what this plugin does. I'll probably do that in a separate video. But I just wanna show you that there really are so many different ways to color grade your footage, whether it's the Lumetri tab or some tools that you can find online, such as this plugin called Dehancer. And so what Dehancer is, it's basically a film emulation plugin, and it's probably the best one that you can find online. And so I'll just quickly walk you through how I'm gonna go about this input. We're gonna choose our camera. We're gonna scroll down and find the camera that we shot it on, Cinema Line FX3, S Gamma 3 ISO 640, it's exactly what I shot on. And so the look that this plugin is going to give this footage is going to look really different from the look that it gave the rest of the clips, specifically um, and mainly because we're trying to emulate film in this shot versus the other ones we're just trying to color grade and give it a certain look. Um, versus this one we're trying to emulate film so this is gonna ha this is gonna have its very own distinct look different from the other clips that we just uh, went through so this video is really just meant to show you that there's a lot of different ways to color grade your footage and and if you're looking for some interesting looks i hope that you found something in this video following my uh following my color grading process through these four different clips so i hope you found something useful i'll do another youtube video um covering this plugin that i just kind of threw in at the end but for now that's all i have and i'll be uploading more soon Thank you.